so we got this whole side cleared off. If you guys have been following the channel, you'll see that we did this side a little bit differently than the first side, where the first side we just pulled up the plywood shingles and all. This side we decided to pull the shingles off first. We just wanted to see if it would work easier because we ended up having to pull those shingles off on the ground anyway to get them into the dumpster. So now that the shingles are up, we're going to start pulling up the plywood and hope for the best here. more. Hopefully, right? Yeah. Man, does that thing get stuck? Spiked in the head with a nail. Let me see. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oops. Wow. I just lost my, you know. You either go with it or you let go of it. Either way. Going with it is worse.
I just pounded in all the staples and nails and Ashley is pulling back all the insulation so we can fix it. We are not happy with the insulation in our in the end of our eaves, so we're pulling it back so we can add some foam board. We'll be showing you that soon, but that's where we're at right now. So this is how we're putting the foam board in here, nice and snug. If there's any gaps, we'll come back and spray foam it. We want to make sure we leave about an inch gap so the air can flow up above the insulation. So many of you guys saw the video where we had the roof open and it started raining. The rain was coming in the house and it was a disaster. The one thing that really saved us during that whole mess was our vapor barrier. We installed a plastic vapor barrier in our ceiling and what that did was protect the drywall from the water and most of the water ended up going here and in these cracks behind the wall, behind the drywall which also has a vapor barrier. You can see the edge of that one right here underneath. So it came down here and it ended up coming out any gaps and openings like around the window frame where the plastic is cut. So I think the ceiling will be fine and we won't see any mold or anything on the drywall. We just got to hope that inside the walls dries out and it should be fine. We're down to the last ones. I just got to do that end bay and we're all done with this part of the job. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. This went pretty quick. I think um, we knew what to expect since we did it on the other side. Uh, after I'm do done with this last one, I'm going to go through and spray foam it. That's something I forgot to show on the last side. Spray foaming all the gaps, cracks, and loose spots to make sure it has a good tight fit. Okay, the spray foam is all cured up, so now we can start putting in our rafter vents. Want to make sure the attic is well ventilated, keep the air flowing. You don't use the rake? No, I just found it easier to use my hands mostly. Let's just shove insulation this way. Well, there it is guys, another step done. And I'm so glad that's done because my neck is killing me. And it's not so comfortable squatting down on these rafters as we work. Mm -hmm. But we got all of our vents in. So now uh, we're gonna clean up the yard, take care of the mess. Next step is eaves. Building the eaves. Yep. We are so looking forward to getting this done. It's gonna go so quick and it's gonna look like this. It's Beautiful. gonna look so good. Oh, there's one more thing I wanna show you guys before we get off the roof and that is this, we got our chimney installed. We never showed that, but I did that last night, right? Yeah, chimney is done. We can actually fire up our wood stove. We haven't done it yet, but it's finished. So that's really cool. 
The only thing I have to do is down here. I didn't put this collar on yet because I got to put some, I got to get some sealant for it and I just didn't do it yet. guys we did it we got the roof pulled off we got the insulation fixed we got our rafter vents installed and cleaned up the mess cleaning up was a lot of work and know. we thought it wouldn't fit in the dumpster but it mostly did actually we packed it in there pretty good i think all but three sheets of plywood didn't fit in there and we also kept out some two by fours that we could just burn yeah and maverick was a big help he helped clean up with ashley yep right Picked up the little pieces. And uh, yeah, so a good day. Progress on the house. Tomorrow, we're gonna work on those eaves. Sheathing. Yeah, sheathing on the roof. That'll be our next video for you guys. So we're gonna wrap it up. We really appreciate you guys watching. Follow along our roof, re-roof job. I still don't know what it's called when you replace a roof, but. <laughs> Re-shingle. Yeah. We'll be back soon. And until next time, take care. Bye.